Hey Virgo, welcome to your weekly forecast for, um, I'm forgetting, February 11th through the 17th. Guys, I know we're coming into Valentine's Day. Everybody wants to know about love. I know, I know, I know. Uh, this reading will be a general reading for the week ahead having to do with money, career, spirituality, family, friendship, uh, personal growth, angel messages, all of that good stuff. The love readings I did separately, and I have a link to the love readings in the description. So you can definitely check out those videos after this one if you would like. And in a couple of days, I will do a mid-month love update and some like Valentine's Day stuff. So if you hit notification and subscribe, you'll get a notice when those are up. Let's see what is happening with my friends, my Virgo friends for the week ahead. In all the other important areas of your life. So let's go to Monday, Tuesday for Virgo. Wednesday, Thursday for Virgo. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for Virgo. And then after we're done looking at these guys, I will pull a separate card from a different deck for your angel message, your soul homework. All right, Virgo, you got the strength card coming up Monday, Tuesday. Some of you may be dealing with a Leo. Some of you may have Leo in your sun or in your moon or in your, you know, Venus or something. And you're coming into that Leo type energy. But overall, for me, when I see the strength card come up in a reading, it's letting me know that something is happening that is changing um, your life path in the way that you are dealing with obstacles that are coming your way. When I see the strength card, it makes me think of being in a situation that is 100% on your life path. You've been redirected, but you may feel very out of your elements. You may feel like you're in uncharted territory, you're out in the unknown, and you may be feeling very vulnerable, and you are learning how to master that and overcome that. You're learning how to conquer the beast within. You're learning how to uh, tame beasts uh, that may be approaching you along your path. And you're learning that you catch a lot more flies with honey than you do with vinegar. You are finding a strength in your gentleness. The things that maybe before Virgo, you looked at yourself as weaknesses, you're realizing these are truly, truly strengths. So there may be some heart chakra stuff happening with some of you Virgos in the beginning of the week where your heart chakra is really opening up and you may be very sensitive. You may be crying at the drop of a dime, you know, like you may see a commercial or something on TV. You're like, oh, why am I crying all of a sudden? Or you may be feeling very sensitive, some of you. Overall, I feel that some of you are recommitting to a goal or situation which you had abandoned long before. This is something I'm hearing intuitively. There may be a dream that you had given up on or a relationship that you had given up on or uh, an addiction that you told yourself you can't beat and you had just completely and totally given into it. But something is happening in the beginning of the week where you're like, no, I don't have to run away from this anymore. I can face this and I can conquer it and I can win and I can do it without having to harden my heart. Uh, that's just one of the messages that is coming in. So for some of you that may resonate, for some of you it may not. It's going to be different ways that this energy is impacting the different Virgos out there. But overall, I feel like there's some kind of promise you are making to yourself or to someone very near and dear to you that you're going to be on the straight and narrow in some way or you're going to be making decisions that are going to be very loving and honoring both to you and to the people that you care about you are operating from a higher uh vibration okay like you're coming out of the negative ego you're coming out of the fear and you're making decisions based on love moving forward your card for wednesday thursday is five of pentacles so a part of this decision that you're making may be leaving behind um some influences that have been maybe tempting you in other ways like maybe you've been working a job that was paying you really well but maybe you were doing shady things or maybe you were doing 
things that weren't so honest to acquire that wealth and you're deciding that you're going to step away from that or maybe you were you were in a place where financially things were going very well but it was taking you away from very important moments in your life maybe you were trading um, important family time or important relationship moments for uh, working or for you know chasing after money in some way and you're deciding you're not going to do that anymore uh, some of you are making a decision or a choice to go about self-employment. This is one of the cards in tarot that could signify a period of self-employment, either like a transition where things are very unsure or you're just starting out. So you're having to be very careful with your money. But the beautiful message that comes in with Five of Pentacles, it doesn't necessarily have to be scary. Even though in this particular card here, it doesn't look very pleasant. There's this person and they're kind of like begging in front of a church, it looks like, and it's snowing and they're left out in the cold. Um, it can look scary. But basically the message here is, again, like I said with uh, the strength card, you're in unfamiliar territory. You're feeling vulnerable. You're kind of feeling left out in the open because everything is so new. But something very beautiful happens with Five of Pentacles. In that point of the journey, you begin to establish really close friendships and finding out who's really there for you, who your true blue friends are, who have your back, who is with you or around you because of who you are and not because of what you're doing for them. You're learning to value yourself in ways that don't have to do with material possessions. You're really connecting with the things that give life true meaning. Oh my goodness, look how that smoke blew over. That was just confirmation for you. So it's like the, the universe is trying to teach you, Virgo, that you are not the title of your job. You are not whatever is in your bank account. You are not the clothes you wear or the car that you drive or where you live. You know, having those things or not having those things does not make or break you as a person and as who you are as a soul on this earth. So prepare for some really big waves of love and value and purpose just flooding into your life. Okay, this is going to be a journey. It may be over the next few weeks on into the next few months, but it's beginning this week. Let's check out your Friday, Saturday and Sunday card. And you have the Emperor. Look, you've got two major Arcana cards. So there's a big shift here happening for you guys, Virgo, this week. Again, that smoke blowing over is confirmation. So you're definitely coming into this energy of structure, of learning from your past experiences. The thing that I love about the Emperor is his character, his personality. He has gone out into the world and he has done everything there is to do. Okay, like if you could do it under the sun, he has done it. Okay, um, he has eaten garbage. He has sat with kings. He has done all of it. The debauchery, the um, moral ground, the high ground, the low ground, you know, the, the gray areas. He's been all he's been all up in everything. And he's learned from his mistakes. He's learned from his mistakes and he has been able to create structure in his life and he's been able to guide other people because he's been through these hard times or uh, these failures that he's rebuilt from. Virgo, I think this is a very transitory time for a lot of you where you might feel like you're rebuilding in some way or, or you're creating a new foundation for your life. Emperor is about structure, but it's also about being really, really well prepared because of your life experiences. So some of you may be taking a trip down memory lane. Some of you may be going back and making some kind of amends over the course of your life. Different people that maybe you felt like you hadn't been there for or that you feel like maybe have abandoned you. Um, or maybe if you've been abandoned or people haven't been there for you, maybe you're going through and you're revisiting these people um, mentally or emotionally and you're doing some clearing work within yourself where you're you know having your closure and moving past that and creating a new foundation for you and how you're going to be interacting or dealing with other people 
uh, emperor can also be a very significant soulmate. So some of you may, may be having something going on there where you're clearing something. Maybe Valentine's Day is causing someone to resurface or tempting you to reach out to someone. But there's something karmic here that is being cleared and a new foundation, a new structure that is coming into your life to benefit you moving forward. Let's check out your love, uh, not love, I'm sorry, your angel message, spirit message for the week. And guys, be sure to check out your moon sign and rising sign videos because some weeks that's going to bring in more information for you. It's going to bring in more guidance. It's going to bring in more information. It's going to add more layers to the situation depending on what's going on in your, uh, in your chart, what planets you've got going on, what energies you've got going on that are affecting you. All right, Virgo, your card for the week ahead, your angel message, soul message, light worker message is leap. You go first, the universe will catch you. If that doesn't confirm five of pentacles, I don't know what does. Because we just said about how five of pentacles is going out into the unknown and not being sure how it's going to pan out. Not being sure what's going to happen. And here you have this card letting you know that this week something is happening where you're taking a leap of faith. Okay? Sometimes if we want things to change, we have to take the steps. But people do it backwards. People don't take the steps until the changes happen. And nothing changes until we change or until we do something differently. So sometimes we just have to get up and start doing it so the universe can step up and support us and, you know, make things happen, make things come along. So you're taking some steps. You may not be sure how it's going to pan out. You may not be sure where it's going to go. But it's going. And this just made me think of uh, the Indiana Jones movie. I know it's old. And maybe some of you are very young and you haven't seen it. But I think it's um, the Holy Grail. I, 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 I don't know the whole title of the movie. But he's trying to find the Holy Grail. And he's in this cave. And it's a test of faith and he's like on this ledge and he's supposed to walk across this invisible bridge and the only way you can walk across the bridge is if you have faith if you believe that it's going to be there and he takes this big breath and he just kind of like leans over the 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 edge and he's like you think he's falling but all of a sudden this bridge catches him it's an invisible bridge it's that kind of a moment for a lot of you Virgos this week, you're definitely, definitely like on, <laughs> on a prayer, you know, you're just, you're hanging on by a prayer or you're taking a leap of faith. But for some reason, I feel a lot of you are feeling very guided to do this. You're feeling very led to do this. And I think the reason why many of you people are doing it, many of you Virgos are doing it is because you feel like, like this is it. Like you've done everything else there is to do and it hasn't worked or it has not been fulfilling and you're just very hungry for connection, for love, for completion. And so you're making these changes in your life and the universe is going to catch you. So it's very positive. Keep in mind, guys, these are general readings. You may need a personal reading for that. You can check out the Calendly link in the description. It'll give you all of the different reading options and my availability. You can go ahead and schedule very easily, very quickly right there online. So you can reach out to that as well. As always, guys, thank you so much for subscribing, commenting, sharing, liking. Thank you for letting me know in the comments what's going on with you guys. I am going to try to reply to more comments. I know I haven't acknowledged them, but I am seeing them. I am reading them. I am appreciating them. And let me know, guys, what other kinds of videos you'd like to see because I want to get that content out to you, regardless of if you book private readings with me or not. I want to get videos out there that help people. Thank you so very much for watching, my dears. Take care. Love you. Have a great week.